Welcome to a brand new week. This is going to be a week we're going to really practice our own civility. Civility. What does that mean? It's another word for kindness. Civility is how we treat ourselves, how we treat other people. Many of us are unaware that the way we get treated in our own life is much how we treat other people. We train people the parameters and boundaries of how we want to be treated. We do this unconsciously though without really realizing we're doing it. We set the boundaries and the limits of what we will tolerate by how we work with other people. People that beget a lot of anger towards someone else get a lot of anger in return. Civility is about sitting down at a table and having a conversation with your family. Realizing how important that is to draw the nucleus of that family energy back together again. It's not sitting around the TV eating. Civility causes conversation. Do you realize we've lost much the art of conversation with our children, with our spouses, with even the people we work with? Civility is all about being nice and keeping in mind as human beings the highest order of life in the universe as we know it today have a responsibility to ourselves and the people we come in contact with and especially the people we mentor to be civil. That means opening the door for someone who has a bag of groceries coming through it. That means opening a car door for your spouse or your loved one. That means being kind to your children because the way you treat them is going to be very much reflect on how they treat you and other people because you're setting the boundaries. This week, I want you to pay attention to your civility. How kind are you to other people? You know, as we become more stressed about money, as we become more stressed about the limits of time we have because we're all so busy, we lose our civility. We lose our consciousness of how we treat other people. Understanding that much how we get treated is how we treat other people. So today, I want you to pay attention to your civility. How nice are you? We all like to think we're a nice person. But are you really? Think about it. Look at your actions. It comes out in the way you treat other people. And the way you treat other people is very much a reflection of how you're going to get that energy back in your life. Today and this week, I want you to work on being civil really being a high standard human being. Realize that the way you treat other people is going to be a reflection of how you feel about yourself. And if you feel good about yourself, you feel good about being nice to others. Even if they're unfortunate, even they're somewhat in a lesser station in life than you are, it does not mean you're better than they are. Everybody has misfortunes in their life. Today, pay attention. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones and you're acting like you're not. We all have blessings and we all have virtues and we all have frailties. Today, overcome your frailties and use your blessings and virtues to bless other people by being civil and kind. If we change that energy with all of us, everything around us is going to change. It's going to be a kinder universe. I'm wishing you a great week. This is going to be a great day. And I'm looking forward to you feeling better because you have been civil and kind to everyone you come in contact with. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary saying, be civil.